Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. And before we get to the royals, I want to wish all of my American viewers a very happy Thanksgiving and uh, enjoy your holiday weekend. Those of you lucky enough to be having a long weekend off. And uh, so enjoy it. And I uh, wonder what, what the Parkles will be doing to celebrate Thanksgiving. They're in Canada, or they were, and uh, Canada has been there, done that already uh, in early October, as far as I know. But anyway, uh, we have the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot on the tarot table because we have a bit of a Nightmare Before Christmas, apparently a Neil Sean story, so treat it uh, with um, due, um, what's the word? Um, well, your viewer's discretion is advised, but uh, according to Neil Sean, the Parkles haven't been put off by the fact that they have not been invited to Sandringham for Christmas and there is no room at the inn. It's been made very clear that it's so full that they've had to, to move the usual lunch from the dining room to the ballroom. But never mind that, according to Neil Sean, the Parkles are considering just popping in anyway or showing up in the UK, whether at Sandringham or around and about, to uh, show that they're still newsworthy and to steal a bit of that Christmas thunder, that Christmas sparkle uh, stolen by the Parkles. So we're going to have a look with the nightmare before Christmas and see what's going on. Whether they are in fact contemplating this. They are popping up all over the place at the moment. And if they are contemplating it, why? And then feelings, Harry's feelings, Megan's feelings about popping up because maybe it's just Harry who's going to pop up. And uh, royal feelings, Charles, we've, I've selected for the purposes of the reading and William. How would they feel about this or how are, how are they feeling about this news? And then outcome, are we going to see a Parkle appearance uh, at Christmas in the UK? Somewhere in the UK, it doesn't have to be Norfolk, it could be anywhere. And if we are going to be treated to a Parkle appearance, who? Because allegedly Megan is not so keen and I've just knocked the microphone, sorry. And um, will stay at home. Harry is the one that wants to be back, desperate to be back. This is all allegedly, of course. Let's remind you, it's tarot for fun and entertainment. All opinions, all speculation. And I just read energy, of course, and disclaimer in the box below. So we're going to see if the Parkles are going to put some sparkle into the Sandringham Christmas. And, uh, I can only imagine the horror that is being felt in royal circles right now at the prospect of the uninvited guest. Do you think that they lay uh, a place or two or four just in case or maybe five for Doria as well? We have the nine of needles which is the nightmare card, the nine of swords, the horror <laughs> high anxiety, stress, worry, oh no, um, will there be enough mince pies? Will we have to accommodate the parkles? What are we going to do? Stress indeed. Let's see the actual situation that we are dealing with today. We're dealing with the king of presents, that has been, that's Harry, earth sign king, not really a king, but in his own mind he is a king of course. He wants to go back. He wants to be part of the fun, the knees up at Sandringham. Apparently it's great fun. And um, he, he's missing it. He's missing home. I've seen that in the readings that I've done recently. Very homesick. And he wants to be there. He's manifesting. This is wish fulfillment. And uh, he doesn't need to give them notice, a month's notice for royal accommodation. He can just show up. And uh, if they don't let him in, then of course, on the phone to the press. Pa won't let me in. Uh, 
are they really thinking about this? Is this true? Is, are they actually contemplating this? I've got the Ace of Potions in reverse. It's the Ace of Cups. It's a no energy when an Ace is in reverse generally. Uh, it's a feeling unwanted, feeling unloved. Uh, the, there was no invitation. They tried their best to manifest it, didn't happen. It got shut down so fast. So they are feeling hurt, definitely, feeling unwanted. So I don't think that if there is a, a, a pop-up, a sparkle surprise, sparkle surprise, sorry, I'm getting my spies and pars from, all mixed up. Uh, if there is a park or surprise, I don't think it's going to be at Sandringham. I think it's going to be somewhere else. This is feeling very hurt, very unwanted, very unloved. Can't understand it. And this is the thing with this sort of personality disorder. If you've ever been up close and personal with it, uh, then it's always one-sided. They can never see anything from anyone else's perspective, only their own perspective. And they've never done anything wrong. Only their feelings can get hurt and uh, they are not responsible for anyone else's happiness. There it is, Ace of Potions in reverse. So it's not telling me what they're going to pop up. It's telling me very, very offended, very hurt at the moment. And particularly, I would say that King of Presence is the one whose feelings have been hurt. Um, how about why? If there is any... Um, consideration of going then why do they want to do this because we have the world in reverse because they're a big flop obviously um we can all see that with our own eyes i don't have to say allegedly there is nothing um noteworthy that they have accomplished they've trashed their families they've alienated themselves from everyone even their celebrity friends politicians uh the rest of it have distanced themselves from the parkles they have been in the news for all the wrong reasons and most recently with the Invictus Games being in the news for all the wrong reasons. The world in reverse, failure, stuck, recycling the same energy without ever getting to a kind of conclusion and moving on to something new and we're all seeing it because it's the world, it's my publicity card in these royal readings anyway. So yeah, big flops need something new, need to be connected with the royals again so that they can monetize their royal connections. That's my opinion, of course. So let's see feelings. Harry and Meghan. First, Harry's feelings about going back. Um, that's the Eight of Candles, absolutely. Eight of Wands, he would love to be back. He wants this to happen. He wants to open up communications. It's the communication card, the Eight of Candles in this tarot deck. It's um, progress after stagnation. And we've got stagnation here with the world in reverse and failure. And this is dynamic movement, um, opening up channels of communications, unblocking a situation, traveling, sending out messages. He wants to talk to them more than um, being there for Christmas and the knees up, as I say. He actually wants to talk to them. That's interesting. I don't think that they want to talk to him, but he wants to talk to them. The energy is coming from him with the eight of candles. It's always, it's moving from the person towards the situation. So that's Harry's energy. Definitely, this is a, this is a strong yes. There's momentum towards um, the UK, towards reconnecting with his family from his point of view. I'm not saying that the royals are welcoming this at all. Not in the readings that I've done, they're certainly not. How about Megan? How, how does she feel about um, going back, just showing up in the UK at Christmas? Oh, the three of needles. It's in reverse, that's the three of swords. That's the broken heart, the betrayal, the treachery. Can't believe they hurt me so much. We all know exactly how depressed she claims she got, uh, that mysteriously she was unable to find any uh, professional help while she was a working member of the royal family. Uh, interestingly, even though Harry himself is a great uh, proponent of therapy and all the rest of it, uh, but she herself, broken heart, betrayed, I can never go back there, Harry. But perhaps because the card is in the reverse, there is a, a little bit of, well, 
uh, if you think it would heal the situation, then I'll make the ultimate sacrifice and go back just for you. And also because I can fling myself at the feet of that ghastly statue of Diana at Kensington Gardens. And uh, I can connect with your mother and um, all of that. Um, so there's a bit of a sacrifice energy in that three of fear of needles because the card is in the reverse. Says, it broke me the last time um, we had to leave. Uh, you saved me from that awful, cruel family, but I could just sacrifice me myself a little bit, provided I've got backward there. Uh, to make sure that they get that uh, money shot of me with Charles walking down um, after the Christmas church service at Sandringham. Uh, that would help. How about the royals? How about the king first? Charles. Five of potions. That's a five of cups. That's, look at him. With his head in his hands. Such grief, such sorrow. Um, so hurt, so pained, can't believe things have got so bad. He's certainly not um, throwing open the castle door and saying, do come in, dropping the drawbridge, perhaps dropping the drawbridge on them as they hover and wait and ring the bell. Do you bring bells at a castle? I don't know. But uh, this is not a welcoming energy at all. This is a man who is very sad. And I suppose he's busy honing his Christmas speech and he's going to have to talk about the world and what a year it has been. It's certainly been an awful year here where I am. Very difficult year. Lots of terrible things have happened to people very close to me. Um, it's been a terrible year out in the world. Um, and I know other people around me have had terrible years. Uh, I've heard so. Mm, I don't think he's having much fun writing his Christmas speech, particularly when he has to look at his own family situation. And um, there it is, five of potions. That's not darling boy. I'm so happy to see you. How about William, Prince of Wales? How does he feel about having the Parkles just show up? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is a big no. Uh, they're, not, they're not welcome back. There's no fresh start with them. There is no um, road to a, a permanent return. The path is blocked as far as he's concerned. Um, he sees it for what it is. It's a money card, the Ace of Pentacles, a big merchant card, a big need for new deals, new contracts, new opportunities. And he is saying absolutely no, you're not coming back. You're not here for the long haul or even for a short haul. You're just not. Uh, so what are we going to see? Are we going to see a surprise park or visit with that Sandringham or in the news somewhere? Oh yes, we have the sun. There is going to be some kind of stunt attention grabbing stunt for sure with the sun because the sun is all about attention. It's all about the limelight, hogging the limelight. It's acquired that energy in these royal readings are more um, toxic energy than I would ever um, read if I was reading for someone privately. And I don't, as you know, don't do those private readings um, for people that I don't personally know. So just saying, the sun, yeah, there's going to be a stunt. There's going to be um, out in the snow, Harry and the tiny tots, um, you know, born or worn down by care. A uh, family so cruel, families shut us out, family won't invite us. But here I am, anyway, um, doing something very, very uh, bright, uh, not in the sense of good energy, but in the sense of lots of cameras, lots of action, lots of look at me. And it is, of course, Leo energy, so it could well be, look at her, look at us. Who? Who are we going to see? If we do see, who are we going to see of the Parkles? And I have the Seven of Potions in reverse. That is uh, a, a bit of a cold uh, bucket of water, the ice bucket challenge uh, being tossed over someone. Um, because it's not, no longer in the daydream, no longer in the fantasy when the seven of potions is in reverse. It's uh, okay. Um, mm, 
that uh, maybe not, maybe that's not going to fly. So I don't get that this actually is going to happen. I get some sort of attention seeking stunt, very much so. Um, it could be a big Christmas card or something, a, 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 one of their projects that's dropped in December. Maybe she's back on Instagram or something like that because it is the sun, it is Leo. But because of this seven of potions card in reverse, I'm getting the idea that they get shut down or cold feet, uh, that they lose their nerve or that somehow it's no longer possible. Maybe there aren't any flights to London, um, no private jets willing to carry them center in his sleigh saying, no, you can't hop on board. Uh, something like that is going to dampen the enthusiasm for this enterprise. It's not parkour energy. It's not children energy. It's not them. Seven of Cups in reverse. It can be the height of delusion, so we might, you know, you could read it as saying they're absolutely deluded and they are going to show up and in the, uh, make a big scene because they don't realise how badly it's going to go, but uh, it's not what I'm getting. Let's clarify the sun and see what kind of, uh, because I asked are we going to get some sort of park or surprise at Christmas to try and overshadow the royals. Yes we are, from the sun, from a Leo energy in particular. What are we going to see? Let's just see. But I'm not getting it at the gates of Sandringham. Let us in. I'm not getting that. I'm not getting staying with friends in the UK. And oh, we just happened to, you know, under the Christmas tree, here are surprise guests. Four of candles. You know, I'm getting a strange energy off that. It is the firm. It is the royal family, four of candles, very much. Um... I'm getting a funny energy that that could be Eugenie and that we might have a very parkour Christmas with her. She's been out and about a lot lately, making some quite large gaffes on social media. She's not earning herself friends uh, with some of the things that she's been saying. There's been quite a lot of really negative commentary on her and the podcast she's been appearing on, not her own. She's been a guest on other people's podcasts and she comes across as quite crass, quite uh, vulgar. Uh, according to the comments, I haven't listened. I've listened to tiny bits. Um, quite ignorant, uh, quite entitled. What a surprise. Um, that's my opinion, of course, and the commentator's opinion as well. Commenters, sorry. But I'm getting the idea uh, that they might just show up with her. Just a thought that she and Jack might be hosting the park halls for Christmas somewhere. Portugal. Though she does claim she's moving back permanently to the UK. So there's the feeling. So there's the feeling. It's possible. Because we're getting celebrating uh, with the Four of Candles. So they are going to be celebrating Christmas uh, publicly. We're going to see it. And it just could be royal adjacent in the sense that uh, it's got something to do. I just have a feeling with their last connection in the royal family and that's Eugenie. A lot of stress around the situation, a lot of people very unhappy about it. Our king of pentacles, king of prince presents, desperate to go back, feeling very unloved, very hurt. They know they're big failures. Uh, he's desperate to do this. Megan, I'll do it for you darling because you know, even though it breaks my heart, um, the king, oh no, William, absolutely not we're going to see something for sure with the sun it might not be what they hoped it was going to be with the seven of potions in reverse that they whatever little scheme they're cooking up is being thwarted at some level or they realize it's not going to fly or it's not going to have the desired outcome but here we've got an interesting scenario of celebration in a family four of candles very much a family so either the parkles at home hosting somebody or the parkles visiting royal adjacent somebody and the only one that springs to mind and that i'm thinking of when i uh, look at that one in particular sorry to say that um not trying to shame but that's just the energy that came off the card when i looked at it i thought there she is that's my opinion. And again, 
not trying to be nasty at all um so thank you for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of your holiday and uh, i'll see you on the next reading